having Liquid here tonight is so special. They're such a dynamic organization. They're engaging different literary communities throughout San Francisco. And what I wanted to do was bring them in to partner with us to select poets and really think about the exhibition and create new works and really enliven the museum and bring the night to life. <laughs> so we are doing a progressive poetry gallery crawl through the museum. We'll be snaking through galleries with stops by poets, reciting new works, so it's pretty special. Partnered with shame and doubt, I go missing. It's a curse that can't be lifted, dark with eyes and hissing. Mark Mayer um, approached us and he had certain uh, pieces in the exhibition in mind and they were all remarkable pieces, beautiful, um, meditative, haunting pieces and, and as a poet myself I knew that other poets would find these pieces intriguing and interactive. So being able to have the poets uh, commune with the artwork and meditate on the artwork and create their own art in conversation with it and then to be able to share that I think with a, a larger audience of people who are used to maybe seeing art but maybe not used to hearing poetry was kind of an exciting prospect for us. I often start um, my writing process with uh, an image. Ringed tracery on the lake's face is what you saw, but you were wrong to assume. Forgive me, but drowning's not my thing. The paintings that were chosen for me, there's seven Nihonga paintings by Fuyuko Matsui. The female figure in several of the paintings are of a female figure who's either being pursued or is decomposing or is various states of decline. I love the idea of poets getting together and responding fairly spontaneously to a visual prompt and then coming up with something in response and then sharing that with the audience. Anyone who's been caught in the crossfire of a glitter cannon knows down to the pores just how persistent, how numbingly recurring the grit glit can be. The piece that I was assigned was uh, Rakib Shaw, and uh, I had not, when I first saw the, uh, the painting, it was like, it was just so perfect for, for what I want, you know, for me. It has just so much humor in it, which, which I kind of like. It's kind of like sacred and kind of profane and insane at the same time. So yeah, I wanted to do sort of kind of like a little, an invocation and also a little bit of an exorcism at the same time. I would advise all writers, artists, anyone engaged in the creative process to just be open because you just never know where the seed is going to come from. So just to be open to that process it's, and then we don't need to know how it happens, it just does and that is why we make art. That's what makes it such an incredible experience. Oh, 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 oh.